sponsored by Catapult. What's going on guys? Mike with Iceberg Gaming. Today we are checking out Blood Bond Into the Shroud by WRKS Games. This game was released on February 27th of 2019. And in the words of the developer, take on the role of Astrid, a young Viking witch, as she tries to save her mother. Discover yourself, the truth, and the blessing of the gods. So this is a story-rich RPG with a female protagonist. And we're going to get into it here. Let's go through the settings first here. So we've got volume sliders. Uh, for some reason, this keeps defaulting to zero, even though I can still hear everything. Uh, we've got mouse control sensitivity. Very good. And everything is fully rebindable. So that is excellent. And it is gamepad supported. And so if you have one, give that a try. Next, we've got graphic settings. Pretty much just low, medium, high, and epic for everything. I am playing on high because on epic mode, I get some weird texturing with the grass, etc. Uh, so the developer suggested that I run it on ep on high instead. So that is where we are at. Now I want to uh, I want to play the opening cinematic for you guys because I think it's very good and it gives the the back background of the story. So I'm gonna get into that. A great conflict once erupted on the outskirts of an unloving place. Joanna, the dark man, a skilled sorceress and archer, along with her lover, the fierce Viking warrior, Birger the Brave, both fought back the realm's hordes to a standstill. A truce was then born on the borders of the Guiyan village. This peace both sides respected, and neither civilization would tread past the realm's borders into conflict ever again. Both remained in the village as champion protectors, but after Joanna bore a child of Birger, the solitary Viking ventured away on a new path, leaving her to raise and train a daughter Astrid in ways of battle and survival. Things remained tranquil, at least for a while. Yet one dark day scorned Joanna. Her ties with the village became severed, and she had lost her ancient powers and the use of her legs. It left her a broken shell and a cursed outcast. Astrid, having grown into a strong young woman, was responsible for the both of them now. With food scarce on this present day, Astrid set out for the woods where she could use her skills as a huntress to good sport. She left her mother, as always, dwelling in the days of the old. Maybe later today, hope would finally pick her up. Just maybe. Okay, so I really like that cutscene. I think it's very well done. I love the uh, stylized art. Uh, there's some issues with some grammar in there, but uh, not a big deal. Um, we'll, we'll try to we'll we'll move past it. I think maybe the uh, developers are not. Uh, I think English is not their first language, so they're already ahead of me. Uh, so, anyways, um, I'm going to continue my game that I've got running since the developer asked that we uh, not show the tutorial. So I am on chapter two, and let's get started. Ooh, I kind of dropped in there. So the uh, the grass looks and the um, mountains look a little bit weird. Um, I was trying to get that fixed. I was talking with the developers for a while and trying to get it fixed, and uh, we did the best we could. So we'll just go with it. Hopefully it looks okay on YouTube, uh, and we'll go ahead and get moving here. I'm out of the tutorial zone now. Enjoy and tread carefully. All right, we'll try. So we have a little uh, hunter sense here. If we hold our right mouse button. As your power grows, you will bestow gifts to you to aid you in your journey and in your actions. They have. Indeed. We have observed. How can you help me? In time, 
as your power grows, you will bestow gifts to you to aid you in your journey and in your actions. In time, these gifts will need balancing and careful choosing as each choice is permanent. Okay. Now, Oop. Let us keep this first choice a simple one. Simple choice. That's good, because I'm a simple man. Fire you bought, Mother taught me. Nana is right beside you, and her devotion and love for him created the bolt of fire she needed in defense of him in battle. You have been taught. Now we teach you a balancing power. Six need of rejuvenation. Use it to harness the healing power of the earth to heal yourself or uh, how do I use it? How do I use it? Ours is merely to gift you the power. How you choose <laughs> to use it and learning its ways are up to you. Oh, that was helpful. was helpful. It is not. Your mother was once a favored child of ours, but these days are past. Her life hangs in your balance now. Okay. All right, so we... uh check this out which okay that's i think i'm a witch right fast travel excellent we uh we can use fast travel always okay so we move with the wasnd and the mouse aims the camera we've also got uh we can make ourselves walk by holding shift that's kind of backwards to me i usually think of shift as a sprint so i'm fighting my instincts there we can uh, pick up stuff with spacebar when there is stuff we need to pick up we can hit control to dodge roll. And we uh, can attack with our left mouse. Ah, I know these footprints. So Axel is the guy we're hunting because he uh, did some bad stuff. I don't want to spoil it. But uh, we can hold our hunter sense thing to track him. We've got some footprints here. Oh, here we go. Okay. The Christian ministries were setting up a camp near Gilean. Astrid had heard of these missionaries of their one god. They had converted the Danish king and had a seat of power there. So we have to learn more about the Christian religion. Christian with a K. Hello. Would you care to teach me about your religion? <gasps> what? <laughs> what the heck, dude? Why are you hassling me? <laughs> ah, here comes another one. <laughs> Ooh, good thing our uh, fire attack there does good damage. I had no idea those guys were going to attack me like that. Ugh. Okay, I think we'll stick with our fire ability. Okay, apparently it goes through people, so let's line this up a little here. Nope, oh, we missed. What's up, dude? Oh, we've been ragdolled. Oh, we're dead. Okay, uh... So we're just back a little ways from where we were. Alright, cool.
Alright, uh, I thought we were going to learn about the religion, but apparently we're just murdering everyone instead. We can't seem to move once we start shooting. Oh man, do we have to kill all these dudes? Let's fireball them from far away. What's this guy saying? Please don't kill me. Okay, these aren't hostile. So I'm searching my for my deadbeat father who left me at the beginning of the story. And what is this? New fast travel. All right, cool. Okay. I can get you for now. All right, let's keep heading towards our objective here. We got some mumbling going on in the background. Uh, so the path goes away from the objective we're looking for. I wonder if we have to follow it or if we can come somehow get through over here. It looks like we're going to be stopped by this body of water. Shallow lake. Okay. Grab this plant. Um, unclear if we can get through here. The game doesn't do a great job of showing you where you can and cannot go, so I find it best to just stick with the flat area as much as you can. So we'll go around the lake here. Head back to the road. Let's see if we can turn the music up. We seem to have lost the music. Uh, there it is. Okay. Got some deer over here. We can kill the deer. We have to hit him though. Got that one. <laughs> Bunch of deer. We could hunt them for a while if we wanted, but uh, I don't really want to. So our road here is still veering away from where it says our objective is. Let's see what this guy has to say over here. The Huntsman. What's up, dude? Wonderful. Who are you? Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> I am on the main warren, greatest to Boya. I am Astrid. I am Astrid of Buenon. Ah, Guya. A quaint little village. It was once. Yep. It has been burned down recently by Dark Elves. Dark Elves? How do you know this? It happened while I was hunting. And our elder Sven told me, with his dying breath. A great man, Sven was. In his younger days, wielded a mighty hammer like a demon. Sven, a warrior? Sven? A warrior? Aye, indeed. Took on a forest troll single-handedly once and lived to tell the tale. I like to think my bow made a difference in the days of the Goblin Wars, too. 
see if he knows our father. Hey, that's the guy that burned the village oh, down. Hey. It was then that Johanna betrayed your father and seduced Odd, drawn to his magical prowess and shamanistic control of the Seder. It broke Bugger, and he left. So this is not saying the same words that are on the screen here. I have never heard this tale. It was then that Johanna betrayed your father and seduced Odd, drawn to his magical prowess and what? shamanistic control of the Seder. It broke Bugger, and he left Johanna and walked alone since then. By the gods! I have never heard this tale told. Then it is a pity that you hear it from me. It is said that Odd and Johanna had a child, but neither have been seen since then. The gods were angered by Johanna's betrayal of their gift of the Seder, and in a fit of retribution robbed her of her power. So we were kind of led to believe that Birger was a deadbeat dad who left us. So now we're finding out differently. So that is why she is the way she is. Did she survive the dark elf attack? Her body was not found. I believe she was captured by them. Do not leap to conclusions, child. Follow the tracks of truth wherever they lead. Like a true hunter. Your mother is not once she once was. Neither your father. You will need to forge your own destiny as best you can. Uh, care to lend hand? I can teach you a skill that may help in the dark times ahead. But first, do a thing for me. We hunters must maintain the balance of nature. There are too many men a quest. this year. Call a few for me. The ones with the large Typical ones. kill quest then here. We shall see. I will do this. I'll do it. All right. There's one right there. Boom. How many am I supposed to uh, thin out here? It doesn't really say. Okay, that's not a stag. There's a couple stags in this group here. Oh, these are like almost all stags. How do I know how many I've got to kill here? Okay, is that enough? Six, okay. I've got six. Oops. Let's head back to the hunter dude and see if we can turn this in. And give, get whatever skill he's going to teach us here. Hopefully it's something cool. We meet again, Astrid. Hunter is a hunter, Lord. Uh, I'm the one hunting. Another quest, this time a fetch quest. What do I need to get? I need a young sapling. They grow all over the place. And I will need to pulverize and powder a dark stone. These are rare and can be mined often near the edges of hills or mountains. Hmm. I will return when I have found them. Okay. Seems like that's going to be a bit of uh, more of a long-term thing, so we'll uh, head towards our objective here the best we can and see if we can find that along the way. 
Uh, are we going back the way we came, or are we actually making progress? It's hard to tell. Looks like we might be going back the way we came. So there is a map, but it's uh, pretty much just uh, a little drawing here, and it doesn't show us where we are on the map, so uh, not super helpful. Continue, please. Ooh, we've got some piggies. Are the piggies friendly? Can I pet you, piggy? Pet you with my arrows? Doesn't appear that I can kill the piggies. Alright, we'll keep moving towards our objective here. Looks like we are, in fact, going the correct way. kind of a long run here with not, not a whole lot going on here for especially for this early in the game uh, you don't want to have stuff like this this early in the game before people are invested or they might lose interest once you once your uh, audience is more invested in the game then you can get away with stuff like this a little more but I would uh, I would cut this run down a bit sup dude are you friendly or hostile Hello. Neutral, I guess. Alright. We discovered the guard post. Are you the guards? What's up, guards? Farewell. Uh, you just called me a whore. Let's shoot him. Farewell. <laughs> okay. Well, we uh, made it to the objective here. Now what? Alright, let's head over to this one. Uh, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit here so you guys can avoid some of this painful run. We have found the mysterious cook. Maybe she'll teach us something. Hungry visitor? Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> I'm sous chef. <laughs> Not to be confused with my tender brother down in Valentina. An amateur hack. Oh, and never bred one. What? Why do you say that? He stole some of our family recipes and he's selling them for profit. From sapping your soap. Oh, what else, Sue? Here's what I'm cooking. Tell me about the red salvia paste. <laughs> red salvia paste can keep your body healing itself. Oh, what else, Sue? Here's what I'm cooking today. Tell me about a sapling shot. Nah, nothing like a sapling shot to invigorate. I do not think I need that now. Here's what I'm cooking today. Okay. Oh, camera a little stuck there. All right, moving right along. We're uh, still a ways off. I think we might have found the uh, pulverized stone thing that we were looking for. What do we pick up? Uh, dark stone. Okay, yeah, that's what we we're looking for. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. We still haven't found the uh, the tree, but making progress. And we're still a ways off from our objective. What is that? 
Should we try to fight that thing? I don't know what it is. We'll probably die. Let's go for it. Looks like some type of like mutant monkey. Maybe a bird. <laughs> Throw some fire at it. Okay, yeah, I think it's a bird. Oh, uh, we're like inside of it. Did it eat us? What's going on here? Light on fire. We killed whatever it is. And now it's uh, magically sliding along the ground. <laughs> Do we get any loot? Loot, please. No loot. Alright, no loot. What's this? I think it ate this person. Maybe these other people, too. Oh, we've done a great favor for the, uh, the, the realm here. We should be rewarded. I don't see any reward though, and there was, there wasn't an, even anyone here to witness our glorious deeds. I feel cheated. Oh wait, here's some loot. What do you got for me? I don't know what that was. I don't know. Uh. Oh, cool, we can change our clothes. Let's be a berserker. Alright, well, we have felled a dangerous beast. I'm gonna go ahead and heal. Can I heal myself? It says I can heal myself. Number four. Um, I'm stuck. Hold on. So I can't seem to do anything. Uh, none of the buttons I'm pushing are doing anything. I can, uh, tab out of the game, but that's about it. I can't even click these, so I think we are stuck here. I'm gonna try to load back in, and hopefully we can get back to the same place. Alright, so it put us way back at this village. Um, did we... We lost all of our inventory, we lost all of our quest progress, even though we had um, auto-saved between now and then already. Um, so that's a little annoying. Uh, more than a little. Very annoying. Um, I am, I'm, I'm not happy right now. <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, see if we can get back to where we were. All right, so it appears to be every time I try to use the healing stream, I get frozen, because I just got back to where we were, and I fought this thing again. I actually tried to walk by it this time, but uh, it started an quote-unquote epic encounter, and the thing came running at me, even though I didn't actually try to pull it. So uh, it seems like um, something's going on with the healing ability I tried to I tried to heal myself again and now I am stuck once again and I think that's the same thing that happened last time so we appear to be stuck once again um, but yeah uh, this is uh, a little annoying because now it's gonna send us back to the beginning again um, so I'll just give some final thoughts on the game while we're, while we're since we're stuck here. Uh, this is Blood Bond into the Shroud. I believe it is the enhanced edition. You can get the game on Steam. It is twenty four ninety nine. I will have a link in the description if you are interested. Uh, if you are a big fan of RPGs and you uh, want to do something with a female protagonist, you might want to give this a try. It is labeled as story rich. And uh, that does seem to be the case. Uh, I can't argue with that. <laughs> uh, but uh, any questions in the comment section? Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. 
and uh, we will see you next time.